U.S. stocks closed higher on Tuesday to notch their third straight day of gains after dovish comments from U.S. Federal Reserve officials pushed Treasury yields lower and investors cautiously monitored developments in the Middle East. The Dow gained four-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 climbed roughly half a percent, while the Nasdaq added nearly six-tenths. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic on Tuesday said the U.S. Central Bank does not need to raise interest rates any further and that he sees no recession ahead. And Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari said he believes the economy is on track for a soft landing in which inflation falls back to the Fed's 2 percent goal, but the unemployment rate does not rise sharply. While their remarks helped move the benchmark 10-year Treasury yield off its 16-year peak and pushed stocks higher, so too did the outbreak of war in the Middle East, explains Eric Ditton, president and managing director of the Wealth Alliance. What happened with this shock with Hamas Israel was a flight to quality. Money poured into treasuries, and for the first time in a while, we got relief. Yields came down, bond prices went up, and the market was actually relieved, and we got that rally. Among individual movers, shares of PepsiCo climbed nearly 2 percent after the soft drinks company raised its annual profit forecast for a third time this year. Rival Coca-Cola gained more than 2 percent. Truist financial shares rallied more than 6.5 percent after a report that the bank is in talks to sell its insurance brokerage unit to private equity firm StonePoint for about $10 billion. And Rivian Automotive added more than 4.5 percent after UBS upgraded the EV maker stock to buy from neutral.